All right, good afternoon event goers to Road to Rome. Uh, this is Staff Sergeant Pepin here. I'm going to demonstrate and show you how to properly make a bedroll if some of you are planning to bivouac at the CP or the headquarters for this event. So what you see right now is an OD3 army style pup tent with one triangular flap. These pup tents were utilized early on in the war until they were replaced with an OD7 two triangle side pup tent. So, but for this demonstration, we're going to use just the one triangle side. All right, so the first thing you would like to do is you want to get your triangle and you want to fold it down and ensure that the sides are flush with each other, like so. Making sure that the sides are perfect and in line. And the next thing you will do is you're going to take that folded edge side and you're going to fold it one more time. And then from here, you're going to set it down, and this will be your square. This will be your mat that you'll be working with. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to have your blanket folded and set over the shelter hat. So what you do is, when you're folding this blanket, you want to fold it to the, fold it to the edge where it has the most uh, length, basically. And then from there you fold it one more time and then what you do is you'll set it down like so just like that one side that's flushed and then the other side the other side will be a little bit out but that's fine that's fine you could take most of it is pretty much where your clothes and stuff is going to be specifically which actually will be in the fold of the blanket. So we're going to open one flap of fold of the blanket and right here is where we're going to put our clothing articles. So clothing articles can be anything, whatever you want. Mostly I would like to put, you know, like the top, tank top here. Um, definitely undergarments. Well, actually, you, it'd be more preferable if you put it here. My mistake. That's on me. Put the undergarments here. Some khaki shorts, but that's just me. Some of the stuff you want to put here is optional. Some of it's, some of it's definitely required but you place it in until you're satisfied with what you have, which I almost am, just give me a moment. Some extra, extra string for the leggings if you are planning to use the M1938 leggings. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're going to fold over all the articles, like so. Making sure they're all the way covered don't want any like sticking out. Put it over the fold. Yep, just like that. All right, there you go. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you want to get all the tent materials that you'll be using for the event. So there's a, there's a way to do it to make it easier when you roll it over. Personally, what I like to do is on the end where the blanket fold is facing out, I'm going to put one tent pole here and then basically grab my tent pegs and just place them on opposite directions of each other or just maybe a few in, a couple of inches away just to kind of like, you know, give a little bit of distance between each other. And then when your last side is where you want to put 
you know, the bag with your ropes. So that way that's good there. All right. And then what you do is you're going to get your blanket and you're going to fold it over like so, making sure that the sides are squared away. All right. Then one more time, you're going to fold it just about one half like so. There's only going to be, there's already going to be a little bit of a roll here. All right. And as you have that set, what you're going to do while it's still staying in, keeping attention, you're going to grab the other flaps and you're going to put them over the blanket like so, making sure that most, most of the area is covered. And so that way everything is pretty much ready to be set. Now, what I like to do in this portion here, because I'm going to add a raincoat to it, I'm going to open these flaps one more time. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and insert my raincoat over it. And honestly, this is probably the best place you want to put your raincoat because it can cover, if it, in case if it rains, even though the shelter have might repel some of that water, um, it's probably better to have this raincoat over because it will probably help keep your undergarments and other utility items dry. So again, like I, like we do, you're going to take that folded top, gonna to go over, basically, making sure the flaps are set there. Then one more time, you're going to put it all in, get the raincoat inside as best as you can, as well as the other side too. The goal is it's gonna look like an envelope. This is gonna be like your envelope side here, right? And then right your near side here, I recommend just a little bit of a fold not too much. And then I mean, while you're doing this, it's kind of difficult, but you want to keep all that stuff together as you're doing it. So pulling everything close together, well, that one's not wanting to cooperate. So we'll just roll it and get it and cross that bridge there. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to roll, making sure you get all the flaps inside all the flaps inside, just like so all the flaps inside. You might have to like keep, keep pulling on it as you're rolling to keep that tension going. Keep it going, keep it going, because it'll, like it'll, like it'll like to come out, and you don't, that's not what you want it to do. You don't want it to come out. Then, like I said, once you get close, then just kind of do a little fold here. Not too, cra not too crazy a fold, but just a little bit over. And keep it going and keep it going. Put that fold and tuck it in, and then put the fold right over and then kind of use your body and like use your legs and thighs to kind of like cinch it together. And then from here, just kind of look around, tuck anything that you see might be loose out. But basically, this is gonna be your roll. It's a big roll. Sometimes you can make the roll a little bit longer or a little less fatter. I like it like this because it just congests, constricts everything into one specific area and it just makes it easier that way. All right, so for the last thing that you wanna do is you wanna make like somewhat of a harness or like a rope that will keep all the stuff together and you can carry it as you're, move, as you're moving and bivouacking. So what I recommend you do is you grab a, the longest shelter half rope that you have in your possession or just maybe regular rope too that's period accurate and what you're going to do is you're going to tie one side together. You can do a square knot, you can do a shoelace, whatever's easier for you. As long as they're both tied together like this. And the idea is you want to make like an oval. All right. So we're going to move this roll out of the way for a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the rope out. Now the rope looks kind of small. I do understand that. I don't have really longer rope, but I'm pretty sure I'll, I will find some before the event starts. But basically what you want to do is you want to get that rope in an oval formation here. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your roll over and then you're going to take one side, pull it up. And then the other side is here. Now, since this rope is smaller, it's going to take some pressure to keep them both together. But what you're going to do is as you get the ropes together, you're going to kind of pull as hard as you can until you can get contact. Like I said, this is a small rope, so bear with me. Until you get contact with one rope and you're gonna put it under and then it'll go over that rope. 
like so. Then as you as you get the rope over, you're just gonna slide the other rope down as far as you can. So that way, it'll be easier to carry in the long run. But basically, that's how it's gonna look. I would recommend using longer rope because it'll definitely make it easier to carry. But basically, in layman's terms, that's how you set up your bed roll. Everything's nice and tucked. I wouldn't worry about any water seeping in. All your rolls are pretty much set. And that's how you do it. If you have any questions or concerns, just message me, send me a text or call, and I'd be more than happy to answer any question that you may have in preparation of the bed roll. Thank you again for watching, and good luck at Road to Rome.